so first of all i will define the slider area so for this i will take a point just randomly i have taken this point later on we will modify it and second point i am going to take here i want to edit this point in this position and i want to little bit shift this point up to this position okay now i will split this curve by using these two points so take split select this smooth curve pick this point now this is showing error because katia is don't know whether we want to keep this zone or this zone so we will take both points so take another point also now it has taken okay this is my splitted area and this is my second side now i want to keep both side now in this this is my left side portion and this is my right side curve this curve i will use for slider and this curve i will use for main tooling direction so first of all i will take sweep take this curve as a profile guide profile and give the slider direction angle we will maintain the zero draft angle zero and this one is zero this is 50 we will take it 50 now this is my slider surface and this side i will make the surface as per the main tooling direction so take a sweep select this guide curve give the tooling direction this is 50 preview okay so i have both surfaces as well as for tooling direction so this is my merging zone i will tell you how we will merge these two surfaces here you can see this surface is not intersecting with this another surface so i will extrapolate this surface give it to 20 try to maintain tangent continuity 50 give it to c okay now i am going to just hide the a class surface this surface is for my welding track only now i have both surfaces for welding track only so next what i will do i will make a line on this surface and split it by using the line so take projection click on line take points click on create points this is my first point
this is my second point click ok select the projected surface I have selected now try to split by using this surface now we have surface like this we need to extend this surface little bit so just take a extrapolate click select on this surface. maintain the tangent continuity now click ok now both surfaces are intersect each other perfectly this side what we can do split the surfaces split this surface by using this surface split this surface by using this another surface okay now this side we have to work so what we will do we will make a line click on points create point click ok oh it is taking some another position just cancel repeat again click on line click create a point click on this point now take second point click ok give the spot now split it out by using this line now hide this line next there is a gap between these two surfaces so what we will do we will extrapolate both surfaces one by one give the distance give tangent continuity for second surface take extrapolate give tangent continuity ok so split the surfaces now join the both surfaces now I have my welding track surface this is my main surface so next what I will do as you remember we have made a 10 mm offsetted surface so I will unhide that surface and I will work on this surface so just this is my 10 mm offsetted surface so in this surface we have problem in this zone only but in this zone we have a problem so what we will do in that case we will recreate this surface so just take the join and remove this surface 
and hide this question so we will make new surface by using multi section surface so for that first of all create the spline we will use the spline the target reverse the target okay next take spline for this reverse the target and turn reverse the target maintain 1 mm tangency we will extract this boundary this one let us try with multi section surface this is this profile is in two parts so we will make it single so how we can do this we will join these two lines so we will join these two lines by using extract click on this surface tangent continuity okay extract from this surface click okay now take multi section surface give the guides and just undo this guide this guide so we will join these two surfaces cancel take again we will join this surface with to this surface so this is our final offsetted surface okay just change the color of this this surface and change color of this surface so we have both surfaces so before going forward we need to ensure that our parallel curve that is this one is having good tangency curvature and all things so we need to ensure that this parallel curve having no issue so how we can do this just go to join and click on this and check the tangency if you get no error it means its quality is good we don't have any error for this i am just delete this this is my final surface just unhide this so next what i will do i will split this material by using this offsetted surface so just we have already splitted only we need to change the reference earlier it was splitted by sweep now we need to split it by join 54 yes it's done now hide this surface and hide this also
here material has not cut down you can see here some issue why this issue is coming we will sort it out first of all we have made last surface joint surface we will check where is the surface this i think this is my last joint surface so what we will do initially we have thickened this surface with the sweep 17 but currently we are having this joint surface 50 so we will replace this with this 50 surface hide this surface and this surface also now you are able to see this is our welding track this is the welding track for the lens so for our understanding i will rename this surface as a lens center lens center surface okay and this is my join 54 is my offsetted surface i will rename this offsetted surface So for our easiness in future, I have renamed both the surfaces. One is offset surface, second one is lens center surface. So just hide both surfaces. Now I will show you the section of this surface it is not working just double click on this this is not working so here you can see this welding track is not merged with lens base so for this we will union trim the welding track from the lens so how we can do this here we made a mistake I will take this lens welding track body outside just cut and just paste now I will define this project I will union trim faces to keep this one this one this one and this one Now you can see welding track has completely merged with lens part. If I take a section of this, sorry. So you can see here, this is my profile of welding track and this is my base lens so both are perfectly merged to each other here you can see this is my welding track merged with this profile if i take section in this direction 
here also you can see welding track perfectly merge with lens i am just going to save this file so double click on final product assembly just take save management save as final modified propagate directory 